Hello viewers, you are welcome to our study part Shala. I am Nilanjana Sharkar with you wishing you a very very good morning, good afternoon and good evening and a very happy day ahead. Take your seat and be ready for today's class and today's topic is life table and population regulation from the unit ecological science. So ready steady go. So what is life table? If we split these two words in a common way that is life means some attributes or some living organisms maybe and table means a tabular form so life table is a tabular form of some attributes of some data with the information of a population for a certain time and these data are the individuals who are infant the individuals who are surviving at the time and the individuals who are dying that means life table may be constructed on the basis of a certain age group and this kind of certain age group is known as cohort and the life table might be two kinds of these are one cohort based life table one static life table cohort life table is based on the cohort that means a specific age group and it states for the probability of the death of people from a given cohort that means for a proper or for a certain age group and it is also known as dynamic or horizontal or generation life table while static life table is known as stationary life table or vertical life table or time specific life table as because it is the death probability of different ages for a certain time so the difference between the cohort life table and the static life table are cohort life table is for a specific age group but it is for the whole lifetime for that population while the static life table is for the all over ages for a population but for a exact timing or for a current year okay and this population growth rate that is the numbers of the individuals numbers of the surviving individuals and the numbers of the dying individuals depends upon the natality survival and fecundity and mortality these attributes of the population growth rate we have discussed in our previous ecology class don't worry i will give the link of the class on the description box below or you can also tap the i button above okay we have to construct a life table so we need some informations to construct the life table and the informations are based on some variables so we will know what are the variables are and what are the representations of the variables and what are the formula of the variables and lastly what is the target to learn about these variables or what is the conclusion to construct the life table is we will know okay so variables are first one is x nx lx dx qx fx and mx so x stands for h class or h class group nx is for the numbers of the individuals are alive at the age group x okay lx is the a specific survivorship that means how much individuals are survived at the age x and it is calculated as nx by n0 next is dx it is age specific mortality that means how much individuals or how many individuals are dying from the age group x to its next that is x plus 1 and it is calculated as nx minus nx plus 1 next is qx which is the age specific mortality rate and it is calculated as the age specific mortality divided by the numbers of the individuals alive at the age x so it is dx by nx next is fx which is the total fecundity or the age specific total reproductive output of the entire population and mx is the age specific mean reproductive output okay so these are the variables and these are the representations of the variables which are very much necessary to construct a life table but what is the conclusion or what is the main target to construct a life table the target or the conclusion of the construction of the life table is to measure the net reproductive rate which is denoted as 
are not so who don't have the idea about the net reproductive rate may visit the given link on the description box below or may also tap the i button you can visit the link directly from here so here the new term is lx mx what stands for the lx into mx or the product value of the lx mx the product value of the lx mx is the mean number of the female offsprings produced by the female individual in a certain age group if we suppose that l0 m0 the product value of the l0 m0 will be the mean number of the female individuals produced by the female individual in zero age group if it is l1 m1 it stands for the number of the female offspring produced by the female individuals in one age group so the r not is the summation of the lx mx if we consider the age group is 0 1 2 3 4 so the r not will be summation of lx mx which is l0 m0 plus l1 m1 plus l2 m2 plus l3 m3 plus l4 m4 this would be the net reproductive rate which is r not so what is net reproductive rate is it is the summation of the lx into mx that means the product value or the total sum of the products value of age specific survivorship that is lx and the age specific fertility that is mx we have already known that r not value may be greater than 1 may be less than 1 also may equal to 1 okay if the r not value is greater than 1 then the population will be increasing kind of population and if the r not value is less than 1 then the population growth will be decreasing while r not is equal to 1 then the population will be a stable population so the next term is gross reproductive rate which is the summation of mx that means the total sum of the age specific fertility across all the ages for a population from this given data if we want to calculate the gross reproductive rate what would be the gross reproductive rate it is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 this is for summation of mx that means the gross reproductive rate so the gross reproductive rate will be 9 right so next is from this given data we need to calculate the net reproductive rate that is r not that means the summation of the lx mx if we want to calculate the r not value what we will get let's see so here r not equal to l0 m0 plus l1 m1 plus l2 m2 plus l3 m3 plus l4 m4 plus l5 m5 plus l6 m6 right so the lx mx values are also given in this column so the l0 m0 is 0 l1 m1 is 0.75 l2 m2 is 1.24 l3 m3 is 1.50 l4 m4 is 0.50 L5 M5 is 0.0125 and L6 M6 is again 0. So the value will be 4.115, which is greater than 1. That means here the population will be a increasing kind of population. Next is population regulation. that means the regulation methods or the regulatory factors how regulate a population size we will see so the regulatory factors or the population regulation are mainly two types these are density dependent and density independent density dependent means the regulatory factors can regulate the population size dependent on the population density or the population size while 
the density independent means here the regulatory factors regulate the population size irrespective of the population density so we will know first density independent population regulation then we will know the density dependent population regulation okay density dependent population regulation also known as abiotic regulations of the population size because density independent population regulation mainly occurred by abiotic factors in our ecosystem it might be fire flood drought or many more natural catastrophes okay and as i have mentioned that the density independent population regulation occurs irrespective of the density of the population or the population size and these factors can regulate the population either in positive way or in negative basis okay so next is density dependent population regulation that means here the factors can regulate the population size depending upon the population density and this kind of population regulation also known as biotic factors regulating population density or the biotic factors regulation of the population density and these regulations also may be in positive way or in negative way generally it regulates the population size in negative way that means if the population size is high then the birth of the population or the birth of the individuals will be low or the death of the individuals will be high that means if the population size is very much high then the birth rate will be very much low or declining rapidly and the death rate will be increasing rapidly but in some cases the increasing the population size results also the increasing growth rate of the population and this kind of positive feedback of the population regulation is known as alley effect after scientist w alley and this kind of positive regulations between the fitness and the population size caused by variety of mechanism that may affect the reproductive strategy as well as the survivorship of the individuals for a certain population and density dependent negative regulations for a population is caused by either disease or competition or parasitism pre predator relationship and so on but positive regulations of the density dependent population regulations may occurred by either mutualism or proto cooperation or cooperation so next is the determination of the equilibrium for a certain population you can see here three graphs now we will study the graphs okay first we have to see the parameters on x axis and on y axis population density on x axis you can see right and per capita birth rate or death rate on y axis and here for these three graphs the purple line for the birth rate and the green line for death rate and this birth rate and death rate may be either density dependent or density independent in our first graph the birth rate is declining over the population density that means the population density increasing and birth rate is decreasing that is why the graph for the birth rate is declining one while the death rate graph is increasing for the density dependent death rate and for this graph the equilibrium point will be this one for the second graph the birth rate is showing the density independent birth rate that means here population density cannot affect the birth rate of that certain population but here the death rate is density dependent death rate that means here the death rate is increasing over the population density and here the equilibrium for this population is here again as you can see these two lines intersect each other at this point so this is the equilibrium point for this graph and the third one shows 
the density dependent birth rate that means a declining one while density independent death rate that means a constant one and these two lines intersect at this point and this is the point which is equilibrium or which shows the equilibrium point for this population so this is for today's session thank you for watching this video if this video is helpful you can like and if this video is not helpful for you then you can also dislike this video if this video is helpful for you then you can share this video with your fellow mates your relatives and your family and lastly don't forget to subscribe this channel so till then be safe and be healthy bye bye